Thank you, Shuhan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, everyone. Um, what, a, what an amazing uh, event. Um, and I think, you know, this, this webinar um, ceremony um, honoring the graduates, I think it's a fantastic thing. I, I don't think I, I've ever, I've, I've not seen it being done by Muslim institutions and academies. So I, I really, I think this is a novel initiative fresh intervention um and uh i think long may it continue as you mentioned i you know i, I thankfully have been um with with al balagh teaching team from its inception and alhamdulillah you know i've seen i've seen the institute grow it's it's fast become it really has it's fast become a beacon for islamic knowledge and guidance online particularly and people are quick to ask me, for example, if there's an issue in the community, is Al Balagh doing a course or a seminar on that particular issue? And and so, Al Balagh really has, you know, gripped. Alhamdulillah, has gripped the community um, with its its efforts, and 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 it has really presented to the community um, an immense sort of catalogue of courses. I, as I mentioned, I, I have taught a number of modules and a number of courses with al Balagh. The, the most recent one that I've been teaching is something called Decoding Islamic Epistemology. So I, I've been teaching Decoding Islamic Epistemology. And so I, you know, I felt it was maybe it's apt to talk about that um, for a couple of minutes. And then I'll, I'll, I want to give my appreciation to al Balagh and the team. So I've taught the problem of evil. Uh, I've taught, you know, Jazz al Quran. I've taught other modules as part of the the courses on al Balagh. But this one on Islamic epistemology, I think, is very very important because knowledge, you know, we, we need to set down the parameters of what we can know, what we call our knowables, um, with what can we know, i.e., our ways of knowing or our tools of knowledge, and from where we can know things, i.e., our sources. And so knowing the correct boundaries of these will have an impact on how, how sound our beliefs are or, or our knowledge claims. And so you know, many, many students will know this, many theological issues arise out of um, uh, failing to know where one can make strong assertions of, of belief and where one cannot. If we get this model, um, we're going to make some mistakes. This is why anyone who studies theology will know that, that, that there's a methodological difference between the Ash'aris and the Maturidis. The Maturidis always begin with Asbab al-ilm, i.e. they begin with what we call epistemology. They begin with theory of knowledge. Whereas the Ash'ira, the Ash'aris, they begin with the Manhaj al-Istidlal. They begin with the method of how to infer and, and, and derive and think and reason. So the, the Ash'aris begin with Nazar and the Maturidis begin with Ilm. And, the, and, and that's important, that difference, to know that difference is important. Um, because if we get our if we get our foundation, our parameters and boundaries are wrong of what constitutes knowledge, what we can know, what we cannot know, where we can make claims and where we can't, we're going to fall into error. So the recent course that I'm teaching along with um, uh, Jamie Turner, is is on decoding Islamic epistemology. And this is the first time I know such a course has been delivered within an Islamic seminary, whether online or uh, in situ on site. So, you know, we are we are sort of treading some novel territory. Um, I, of course, I want to express my appreciation to al Balagh, especially Sheikh Dr. Rafaqat um, for his vision um, and his objectives with al Balagh. And that he's put together a wonderful team um, and, and you've been introduced to um, some some senior uh, uh, members of that team, and uh, you know the English speaking audience has now a repository, a catalog, a source, a place of you know to build knowledge and really to build understanding of the religion. Now, Imam Shafi'i, radiyallahu an, as mentioned by Imam Ibn Asakir in Tariq al Dimash. He says that Imam al-Shafi'i said, Man la yuhibbu ilm fala khayda fihi. Whoever, whoever doesn't love knowledge, there's no good for him. There really isn't any good for him. 
And so Al Balagh is facilitating, well, alhamdulillah, is facilitating the means to acquire this good, this khayr, for you, for me, for the community. So we need to support it uh, and we need to support its team. Finally, what I'd say to the the kharijim, kharijat, those who are graduating, um, you, maybe for some of you, you, your journey, or for, for many of you, your journey is beginning. And this journey will have to be hard. Will have to be hard. There's going to be challenges along the way, and there must be some hardship. Um, and I know um, we mentioned Ulfa at the beginning of Mufti Taqi uh, wonderful, beautiful lines. But some we need some Kulfa as well. We need some uh, hardship in our uh, studies. So I'll conclude with what the Imam Shafi'i said, Allah and he said in, in his beautiful lines of poetry, وَمَنْ لَمْ يَذُقْ مُرَّ تَعَلُّمْ سَاعَةً تَذَرَعَ ذُلَّ الْجَهْلِ طُولَ حَيَاتِهِ the one who never tastes the bitterness of learning, even for an hour, swallows the humiliation of ignorance for the rest of his life. So you, we, must have, we must have this struggle on this path of knowledge. And, and that will be my sort of parting advice for the students. Make this the beginning of your knowledge. Make it a struggle. Give your utmost. Ask your parents for dua. For those of you who are, who are blessed to have your parents, ask your teachers to make dua. Ask them to give you tawfiq. And, uh, and make your niya sincere, uh, and make it pure, uh, that this ilm, this ilm shari'i actually, this sharia knowledge, is for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, and I'll, I'll end it there, Jazakallah khairan, for giving me this honorable platform, sharing it with Sheikh Mustaqim and others. Um, and I, I pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives tawfiq to you all, makes al-balagh grow from strength to strength, and that Allah makes it a beacon of, of, of light and knowledge uh, like it already is. Allah ma'akum wa salamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.